Hannibal of Carthage, a strategic genius and military tactician. Introduction. One of history's most celebrated military commanders etched his name in the annals of warfare through his audacious strategies and relentless pursuit of victory. Born into 47 BCE, Hannibal inherited a legacy of enmity with Rome, and he dedicated his life to exacting revenge and challenging the growing Roman Republic. This review aims to delve into the remarkable life and military genius of Hannibal, examining his early years, his legendary campaigns during the Second Punic War, his innovative tactics, and his enduring legacy, only life and rise to power, Hannibal Barca, son of the Carthaginian general Hamilcar Barca, grew up amidst the backdrop of the First Punic War. Inspired by his father's military exploits and harboring a deep desire to challenge Rome's dominance, Hannibal received a comprehensive military education and demonstrated exceptional leadership skills from a young age. Upon assuming command of Carthaginian forces in Hispania modern-day Spain, Hannibal wasted no time in establishing alliances and extending Carthaginian influence in the region. His strategic prowess and audacity soon propelled him into the limelight as one of Carthage's rising stars, the Second Punic War, Hannibal's triumphs, and Rome's defiance. The Second Punic War to 1801 BCE became the stage for Hannibal's audacious military campaigns and his quest to dismantle the Roman Republic in what is considered his most daring feat. Hannibal crossed the Alps with his army, defying geographical obstacles and surprising Rome with a force on its own doorstep. Hannibal's victories at the battles of Trebia, Lake Trasimene, and Cannae showcased his tactical brilliance as he employed innovative strategies such as double envelopment, feigned retreats, and the use of local allies to destabilize Roman forces, despite inflicting heavy losses on Rome. Hannibal was unable to secure a decisive victory that would force the Roman Republic into submission, inevitably. Rome's resilience and its ability to replenish its forces eventually turned the tide of the war. The Roman general Scipio Africanus emerged as a formidable adversary, adopting unconventional tactics and eventually defeating Hannibal at the Battle of Zama in 202 BC. Innovative tactics and military strategies. Hannibal's military genius lay in his ability to adapt to various terrains and exploit the weaknesses of his opponents. His innovative tactics and strategic brilliance often caught his adversaries off guard allowing him to achieve remarkable victories with smaller armies. Hannibal's reliance on a highly disciplined and loyal cavalry, coupled with his renowned use of war elephants, became emblematic of his military campaigns. His ability to maneuver and coordinate diverse forces across vast distances demonstrated his superior logistical skills and tactical acumen, Hannibal's legacy and historical impact. Although Hannibal was ultimately unsuccessful in his quest to defeat Rome, his military genius and the fear he instilled in the Roman psyche left an indelible mark on history. Hannibal's campaigns exposed the vulnerability of Rome, shattered its invincibility myth, and forced the Republic to adapt its military strategies. Furthermore, Hannibal's audacity and tactical brilliance inspired later military leaders, such as Napoleon Bonaparte, who studied and adopted his strategies. Hannibal's emphasis on exploiting the element of surprise, leveraging local support, and conducting asymmetrical warfare influenced military thinking for centuries to come. Additionally, Hannibal's legacy transcends his military accomplishments. His determination and audacity continue to captivate the imaginations of historians, authors, and military strategists who analyze his campaigns and leadership style for valuable insights into the art of warfare.